Hi there, it's Tracy. Um, today is International Book Day and I have decided to film a vlog for today. And I've never done this before. I mean, I did vlogs before, but never for books and for reading. So we'll see how this goes. You're now, at the moment, the phone is perched on the window <laughs> and I really hope it will not fall down. But yeah, so I'm kneeling on my couch. It's very uncomfortable, but I wanted to just start off by saying hi, good morning. I'm gonna do a vlog about books today, all day long. And I wanna actually, on my phone in the, you know, set a timer, not a um, stop the time, I think, for <laughs> um, how much time I actually spend reading today. So, because I'm really interested in seeing how much that is. So, I'll get back to you in a minute when I find a more comfortable spot. So this is a bad angle for me because it's, you know, from the bottom up, but who cares? I have decided to do this vlog today and I'm going to start off by showing you the books that I want to read today and hopefully finish at least two of them. And that is Trevor Noah's Born a Crime that I have started a few days ago. And the other one is Beach Read by Emily Henry. It's a romance novel. I'm about halfway done and it's so far really good. And if I manage to finish these, I want to try and finish this book as well. It's Shadow Falls After Dark, Unter dem Nachthimmel. It's the second book in the series and I am already quite far. So that's the backup book that I brought. And these two are my main goals to read today. And I also brought my headphones for when I'm not doing actual reading because I have to do other things. <laughs> I want to listen to an audiobook and my current audiobook is The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, the second book in the trilogy. But first, I'm going to start my day off in the way I always do. I have this basket here filled with books. This one belongs to my husband, so that's not mine. These are mine. And they are all daily books and I'm going to show you what I mean when I say that. So today is April 23rd and I've read that already last year so I'm skipping it but I have this book here that has history. It's history day by day and it has a chapter about a historical event for every day and at the bottom it says what also happened on this day. So I am um, not going to read this one today because I read uh, just a few days last year. I'm not sure why, but I marked all the days I have read, which was a good idea. And these days are marked, so I'm not going to read them again. What I will read is Sandy Toxwick's Almanac, which is basically the same thing as the book I just showed you. But this one here is all about what women did and what women achieved and... Um, birth dates and, you know, um, days of death for certain women and what they did throughout their life. Um, the only thing in here is the chapters are quite short, but I really do enjoy this book a lot. I learned a lot so far. So, and after that, I am reading The Simple Abundance by Sarah Ben Brethna. I got this as a recommendation from a friend a few years ago when I felt quite lost in my life and I started reading it back then and got not even to February before I stopped. It is also a chapter for every day. And a lot of the things that are written in here do not really speak to me. She is a very faithful woman and I'm not um, spiritual at all in any way. Um, so I just skip I read everything, but I only take away from me what I need. And I've been sticking with it so far this year, and I'm going to do that uh, after that. And then I have a book that is not a day by day, but just small chapters. And that is Red Rem Women Worldwide. And I'm reading a chapter in this one. Not every day, depends on my mood and how much time I have in the morning. And today's chapter is about Kasha Shaklin Nabagizera. She is a Ugandan woman. Um, and I have no idea yet what she did. But 
this is a book about extraordinary women throughout history and who are living today and yeah I'm not far into it because I had read um, this book here before and this is in here now for my husband but yeah that's my daily reading that I do in the morning and then I take this little notebook here and that is my gratitude journal it's something that the Simple Abundance book tells you to do. Even on shit days, just write down five things you're thankful for for that day. And I have filled all of these pages. I fill a page a day. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna start my day off with my daily reading and with my coffee, it's already here. And I'm gonna come back a bit later. So I just read the book entry about Kasha Shakli Nabagizera. And she is a Ugandan um, gay rights activist, um, which is a very dangerous thing to be because in Uganda, it's at least in this book, at time of printing of my book, being gay or homosexual is prohibited by law and in some cases even punishable by death. So what a brave woman. I'm really happy I learned about her today. So I just decided to come sit outside and knit for a bit and I will listen, keep listening to my audiobook. I've been listening for over an hour now and I think that's what I'm going to do because it is a really beautiful day and yeah, I just want to sit outside and enjoy my life here. <laughs> so before I get started, I thought I would show you my current project and it is a feral list, not feral. Sorry, it's a color request. <laughs> and the pattern is by Marie Wallen. It's called Fin, F-Y-N-E. It's a free pattern and I'm converting it to be knit in the round. I finished the first bit of color work. I'm also changing it a bit because she has the background color be different from the ribbing and I didn't want that. So that's the first color work part. And now I'm going to introduce the yellow and a bit later, I'll introduce orange as well. So these are going to be my colors. I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. And now I'm going to listen to an audiobook and just enjoy my life. It is World Book Day and I do have a bookish unboxing. Isn't that great? My postman just delivered some things to my doorstep and I spent the last two hours outside knitting and then just enjoying my life and you know just being there listening to my audiobook but now we're gonna unbox some packages. Never done that. I probably will never do that again but it just fits so well right now. So the first thing that I got looks like this when you open it and like that and I ordered some bookmarks and the packaging is just really cute. So let's see, we have dried flowers, which is interesting. Um, whoo. We have this beautiful little bird. Um, what is it like a label thingy we'll probably find its way in one of my journals then here is a sticker i bought a complete sticker set i'm pretty sure but this is so beautifully packaged i'm really happy about this i ordered these bookmarks two days ago i think and they came from munich so that's a good thing. They didn't travel a long way. Wait, the other way. So in here, so this bookmark. Uh, and in here are the two bookmarks that I ordered. The first one is this one here, because I just feel like this is very much what I would look like. Focus, focus. 
doesn't focus, who cares? Um, I think what she wears is definitely something I would wear. And the back just looks like this. Um, I bought it with a band. And then I got a small bookmark, a mini bookmark with this cute little raccoon on it. And also in the package came a misprint. It says, I'm not perfect, but maybe you will love me anyways. And it is this one. It's another bookmark. It says, Mama fell asleep here. And another bookmark that is kind of uh, a, uh, an advertisement for the seller. And in here are the stickers that I ordered. This is so nice and it was so um, affordable. I am going to link to the Etsy shop in the post I'm writing to go underneath this video because I think you might enjoy getting something from them as well. And that is the sticker box or sticker sheets that I got with these autumnal stickers because I thought that these would look really cute in my reading journal for October. And I got her as a thank you for your order extra little gift in a bit smaller. So I will use these for my reading journal. I am super impressed by this package. Everything looks so nice. I have new bookmarks now, which is why I ordered, you know, I wanted to have some more bookmarks because I only have a ton already and I just wanted something new. And she was local, her things looked cute. So I'm super happy with this. This is really nice. And now let's let's look at the books. I got books from World of Books. They sell used books and I've always been a, I don't wanna use used books, I want new ones person. But recently I realized how stupid that is. <laughs> because why why not use used books? My lip is, hurts. So, in here, I'm not sure what is in here. I have ordered several things and I've received one parcel already yesterday. Um, ah, okay. So in here are three books by Peter May. He was um, recommended to me. It's the Enzo McCloud series and I got the whole series. I got two of the books yesterday and I got three more today and there are six in total. So I'm still waiting for one. The thing, <laughs> It really baffles me. I bought all of these books in the um, sehr gut condition, the really good condition. I mean, is that, I wouldn't say that that is really good. You know what I mean? I mean, um, one of the books I got yesterday has a bit missing in the cover and I checked all of the books I bought were in the real good condition. So not sure what counts as bad for them, but I wouldn't say that these are in a really good condition. But I'm happy to have them and I really look forward to reading them. So one more missing of these books. And the last parcel came from Amazon. I'm not sure what's in here. Ooh. Well, that's exciting. I ordered uh, romance novels. This is part of a three book series. Not sure if there will be more. And I'm not sure which one of that uh, series this one is because I ordered three of them. All, all the three that are out there. So yeah, I do not know which one this one is. Let's Let's find out. Hmm. So it's from 2019, so I'm guessing it might be book two of the series. I don't know. 
I um, have to go look for the series again and find out. But yeah, um, there's three of them. One of them is a very recent release and I ordered all three. That's the first that showed up. And as I am very much in a mood to read romance books, I'm looking very much forward to this one. So that's today, um, today's deliveries. I'm really happy about it. And I'll talk to you later. So I've come outside to sit here and um, finally read a physical book. And I'm going to read Trevor Noah's Born a Crime first. Um, just gonna sit here, enjoy my life. My cat is next to me. I brought a snack, something to drink. And also I checked it, um, Fix Her Up is the first book in the series. So I can get started if I want to, which is nice. <laughs> Before I continue reading, I thought I'd show you what I see right now when I sit here. So first of all, I have two cats, Gizmo, and here on my lap is Loki. They decided to join me, but what I actually want to show you is the view. So hope you're ready. Hmm. Turns out I cannot switch. So I'll just have to do an extra clip. Here we are. This is my view right now right there here is the construction going on but here are the mountains and it's really glorious we have beautiful weather and i'm enjoying my time here very much I just ate something and now I have to decide which book I want to continue reading. I've been reading Trevor Noah's Born a Crime so far and it's really interesting and I, on one hand I really want to continue reading it, I want, would love to finish it today. On the other hand there's so much history and um, information about apartheid and everything that came with it that I think it's also a good book to just you know read a bit every day and let it sink in and really process what's going on so I'm not sure yet what to do but I will continue reading so it's time for a change of scenery I've decided to come inside because it is still sunny but it's windy and it's not warm when you're not in the sunlight so I've decided to come inside. I'm up in the reading room right now. I've decided to take a bit of a break from reading. I will watch some booktube videos. I will knit on my vest a bit more. I've done four rounds so far today, which isn't a whole lot, but I got the yellow in and I brought some Easter candy that I will now enjoy. And I also brought my new teacup and saucer that I just got from my mom. <gasps> <Ooh>. <laughs> um, she gave it to me because she got it as a gift and she hates it. She thinks it's the most ugly thing ever and I really like it. I'm gonna take just a cup and show you that. I really like it. It's very mm, afternoon tea -y, you know, and that's the saucer to go with it. So I really like it. It's mine now. I'm very happy about that. Loki. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna take a break, just do a bit of knitting, and later I will continue reading.
Hello again. It's been a few hours since I last spoke to you. I did um, some knitting on my vest and I watched some reading vlogs of other people. And now I'm back in my chair. I had a bit of a wardrobe change because I've decided to put on my pajamas because I like to be comfortable when I read. And it's now eight o'clock in the evening. I, uh, I just prepared some dinner for myself. And it is quite vegetable heavy because I haven't been very healthy today, you know, not really. I didn't move a lot and I just didn't have healthy food. So I'm going to have that now. I made more tea. This time I went for a rooibos because I want to sleep tonight. And I realized the older I've got, um, the more problematic relationship I'm having with black tea. Um, if I drink more than a liter in the evening, I cannot sleep, which, you know, I used to drink two liters or so. So I just made one pot of black tea that I had and now I'm on to rooibos. And I'm going to start reading Beetroot. I'm on page 173. That's uh, basically the middle. And yeah, I'm gonna hopefully read as much as possible because... I can read as long as I want. And yeah, I think that's it for now. I'll talk to you again when my day ends. Oof. So it's a quarter to one now. I'm really tired, but I finished Beach Read like 10 seconds ago and I stopped my timer that I had set every time I started reading and I managed to read for eight hours and four minutes today. So that's a lot of hours. It's probably half the time I was awake more I don't even I don't even know I'm too tired to think about this so I'm gonna go to bed and uh I'm not sure yet if I will come back tomorrow with an you know a wrap-up we'll see hello it's the next morning and I'm ready for my complete total wrap-up so yesterday on international book day I spent eight hours four minutes and a few seconds reading one and a one hour and 37 minutes of that time I spent listening to an audiobook and the remaining six and a half hours I spent reading and I read in Born a Crime I read 63 pages and in Bitch, bitch <laughs> in Beach Read, I read 185 pages. That makes for 248 pages. And considering that it took me six hours, it's basically um, 40 pages an hour. I'm, I'm a real slow reader. So that is one thing I'm going to do. But off camera, I want to actually time how much time it takes me to read one page or a double page in English and a double page in German. Because I've always thought that I can read 60 pages in a book in an hour, but I think that's for German books, I'm a bit faster. And for English books, I'm not. But I'm super slow in both languages, so it doesn't really matter. I'm a very slow reader and I have no intention of changing that because I'm just, that's how I prefer to read. So that's been my, my day, here's my my data. <laughs> I'm gonna um, put a lot of pictures and a lot of written words as well into this post. So yeah, thank you for coming along and I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know and I can make vlogs about other things as well. <laughs> Bye.